day zero on our last shakedown hike before we set off for the AT. Good morning. Hey. So we are on day one of our last shakedown before we set off in March for our attempted through hike up the Appalachian Trail. So a little bit different um, plan today than we had originally decided to do. We had originally decided that we were going to um, park here at Blood Mountain Cabins, which is where we're at, and then have a shuttle take us to Amicola State Park, and we were gonna do the approach trail to Neil Gap. And we did that last year, back in June. We just wanted to do it again because we know it's um, tough and we really didn't want to see any more of the trail than we had to um, and spoil it. Well, that's what you really wanted, right? So, um, unfortunately, our shuttle driver's car um, is not working. And we took that opportunity to go ahead and save the money and put it in the bank account for trail. So now what we've decided to do is start right here from Neil Gap. Or, I'm sorry, from Mountain Blood Mountain Cabins. And we're going to head north about 20 miles and um, then we're going to turn around and come right back here and we have a cabin booked for um, two days to rest so um, we're going to see a little bit more of the trail than we've seen before which is kind of exciting but um, we're just going to do it out and back that way we don't need a shuttle we can save that money to put towards march sorry it's loud there's a road right here you can see it so we'll catch back up with you we're going to um, head north now. We're going to head through mountain crossings and we're going to hit probably about 10 and 11 miles. All right, got to go. It's loud. And we have Kira and my husband with us today. So we're super excited that we're all together. We'll catch back up with you soon. We've made it to mountain crossings. And so now we're going to walk right through here and continue northbound. Probably about 10 miles today. Here is the famous tree for so many people. In there for the hike. Sorry. So loud. You guys ready to go? Okay, let's go. Morning. The restrooms and now I'm told that the hostels open again which is pretty cool because it closed I think for a while during COVID Well, we just went up and over Levelin Mountain. We're about two and a half miles, maybe three miles at this point into our day. Everybody's feeling good and we're just trekking on. This little camp spot over there. Parts of the trail are just a little bit overgrown. It's not too bad, but you just have to keep walking forward and it's pretty obvious because the ground is where the trail goes. And up Cow Rock Mountain and this beautiful view just popped out of nowhere. Go this way. <laughs> On top of Cal Rock Mountain. Wow, what a 
out of view. What's that? Oh yeah. Bye boys. What are they doing? Picking up the bear bags. Blow it up. All right. You can see there's a carabiner up there. Oh, you got it. I know it's heavy. Good job. Good job. Now take that carabiner. Keep going. Grab it and hook it to that bottom ring of that near that tree right there. Grab it to your hand. Yep. Grab that. Yes. You got it. Come on, Mama. Put it in that ring. Does it not move? Yeah, keep going. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. You're almost there. Oh, gosh. Oh. Woo! You did it. Good job. Teamwork. It's going to come crashing down. And there's our bear bags. <laughs> our food bags. There's no poop on it. Just hey guys. Hi. So we just finished day one of our shakedown hike on the Appalachian Trail. As you recall earlier, our plans were a little bit different than what we had planned to do originally. Originally, we were going to do... Um, from the arch at Amakalola Falls to Neil Gap, which is about 40 miles total. It's the same, um, the approach, approach trail plus 30 miles on the AT. It's the same thing we did last June, um, but unfortunately our shuttle driver's uh, car was still in the shop. And so we could have called somebody else. I'm sure there were other shuttlers that were available, but we chose to take this opportunity to save a little bit of extra money because we're taking pinching all of our pennies now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, we're just gonna save that money, put that money in the bank um, for March. And we decided to do something a little unconventional, which is um, park at Blood Mountain Cabins, which we have a cabin there for um, four days from now. So, um, which is what we did last time. And instead of getting a shuttle back to Amicalola and then ending at our car and at the cabin, we decided to do what? Uh, we decided to just go to Neil's Gap and then kept on going. Yeah, so pretty much we are doing however many miles we end up deciding to do. <laughs> um, yeah. But we haven't seen this part of the trail yet, which is kind of cool. Um, also, I know that you did not want to spoil any more parts of the trail but it just made more sense if we would have went the other way from uh, Neil Gap, Mountain Crossings, Blood Mountain Cabin, all the same area. That would have been southbound and we would have had to go over Blood Mountain twice. twice. And no, once is enough. Uh, we're good. So yeah, today we made it about eight miles or so from uh, Blood Mountain Cabin to where are we now? Something Whitley. Um, campsite. Yeah. Shelter. I'll Wait. put it down in here. I don't remember what it is. What we get? I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we're tired. We'll put it down here below in yeah. a few minutes. Um, but who today kicked our butt. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. This was a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why I thought this was going to be much easier. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, sorry. I heard something way back over there. Did you hear it? 
like something rough rustling in the trees. Oh, was that your head hitting the top of the tent? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it's a long day. So, yeah, it was tough, you guys. I thought it was going to be not as difficult. I think we're in better shape. Um, we just did the Foothills Trail, 80-plus miles back in April. Um, our bags are lighter. We have yeah. this new tent, um, which we'll talk about that in a second. Um, yeah, it wasn't. So, I'm exhausted. Uh, we gained probably over... 2100 ish somewhere miles of elevation and um, lots of seep ups out of every gap there's like a ridiculously seep up with i don't think there was any switchbacks whatsoever so yeah it was tough i was definitely yeah. not super happy camper most of half of today but we made it and we're excited and we're embracing the suck because today was rough yeah but we look forward to tomorrow um, and really we're just out here, not necessarily, we kind of don't want to keep seeing more of the trail that we're going to see in March, but really just to one, um, test out our tent, Yeah. which we have a new tent. Um, it is the Dan Durston X mid pro two, which is completely DCF. Um, so it's super lightweight all in with stakes and everything. It's like 22 ounces. Um, but We'll let you know what we decide to do. Um, I had a few concerns. I love how light this is. I love, I love the tent, but I am concerned about how big the footprint is and how difficult it may or may not be um, once we're starting probably in the bubble um, in March and finding sites, because it's big. It, I'll put down the dimensions maybe at some point if anybody's interested in, but once you stake it out, um, it's a pretty big footprint. So. We'll decide after this trip um, if we're going to go with this tent or if we'll choose maybe another lighter, um, maybe a big Agnes. I don't know. We're still thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll decide. So what was your favorite part of the day? Uh, probably getting to camp. Yeah. <laughs> so also a funny story about that, you guys. There was no water today. So here's me. Here's my favorite least favorite part of today besides all of the crazy ups um there was no water so for the entire eight miles that we walked today or a little over eight miles there were no water sources none whatsoever so luckily all of us um Jael, myself and my husband um and our dog well just the three <laughs> of us had um two liters of water each but i'll tell you i could have drank both of mine today but every time we kept getting to a water source and we were looking at far out um, and I love it for that there was a few water sources that said maybe was pretty you know dry or don't don't go at all it's completely dry everything we checked today was completely bone dry mm. bone dry there were a bunch of other day hikers out here um, and we were all saying the same thing and so that I'm not gonna lie that was they kind of put a damper on my mood. I, I started yeah. worrying a little bit. And I know I probably shouldn't have because through God, everything is going to be fine and he'll take care of everything. But I was worried about, you know, the three of us, of course. And then with Kira, our dog. Yeah, that, that was troubling to me. And so we had to make a decision um, to either continue on another point two from where we are right now. And there was probable water source, but that last comment in Far Out was from like three weeks ago. And then there was this shelter, which is Whitley Shelter or something like that, um, that said great flowing water. That was five days ago. But the problem with that, you guys, this, <laughs> I was like, no way, but we did it. This shelter was 1.2 miles off the trail. I would never. Definitely not on a through hike. Um, but we were kind of desperate for water and it seemed like it was going to be our, you know, best bet to get water. And, you know, Jael and I, we still had um, two liters each that, you know, we kind of were just saving in case we couldn't find water. So survival wise, we would have been fine. But it's uncomfortable when you're kind of thirsty and you know that you're rationing and you're just hoping and praying that there's going to be water. So that was my least part, favorite part of the day. What was your least favorite part? 
Probably the downhills. The yeah. downhills really got my knees going. I was like buckling every step. Yeah, well, I think because of so many ups and so many immediate downs, yeah. like it was rough. This this was definitely um, this is rough. My favorite because I already said my least favorite. My favorite part. Um, we had a couple of really cool views. You guys will see them in the video. They were really, really nice. Like, that was absolutely beautiful. That, some of the views, and then also um, getting to camp. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. And we got here pretty early. We got here about 4, 4.30 or so. Yeah. yeah, somewhere around there. So we've had plenty of time to kind of look around. We did have a water source here that's flowing freely. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. We were so thankful. It's a pipe spring, so... Um, plenty of water here and um, yeah now we just we ate dinner cleaned up did our chores and now we are ready to go to, to sleep, sleep. <laughs> couldn't sleep so well tonight so that's it for today you guys i um, just wanted to give you a quick recap um, and tomorrow uh, i think we're going to go to lower gap shelter um, it's only about five maybe I think it's going to be total seven miles once we, remember, we have to go 1.2 miles back to the trail on this blue blaze. And then I think it's another five and a half or six miles to low gap. Um, I think that's the plan. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Keep our fingers crossed. Keep praying that we don't run into any more water issues and um, figure out a turning point when we're going to turn back around and head back to the cabin for some rest and relaxation. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for following along. We will catch you guys tomorrow, and uh, we hope you're enjoying the videos and um, coming along on our adventure. That's a wrap for today. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.